<laughs> Sir. Hi. Um, I wanted to thank you all for coming. Um, the question I had, everyone always uh, mentioned, and I'm only asking because there's a commercial about it now, so what's about Turbo Boost? Um, what's the Turbo Boost going to be like in the series? Awesome. You, you <laughs> is it going to be literally the car jumping? Hello? <laughs> is it going to be the car jumping? It's going to literally what? be the car jumping? Or is it? Yeah. Wait till see, see my Turbo it's Boost. It's Night Rider. Right? All right, just making sure. I wanted you to go on record that it's going to jump. Yes, yes. it's going to jump. Gonna jump. Yes. All right. Quit making the car jump enough already. <laughs> well, this is one of the interviews that they wanted the technology to be it, realistic. It's, well, it, it's going to so, be our version of a turbo boost, as I said, and I hope everybody bears with us and, and lets us, you know, show you what we can do because we've got some great episodes, we've got some great storytelling, we've got cool car stuff, great stunts, great technology. Um, but it's it's going to be different than the original. I mean, it's it's got some really cool things. You can do so much more now, and we're really trying to um, envelop and and take on everything that's been done in features, in video games, in past TV shows, and put it all into one thing, um, and just make this really cool and really awesome. So that it's just it's just a, uh, there's a little thing that says there are kids here, so don't swear. It's it'll be a kick butt ride, uh, as opposed to the other thing I was going to say. Um, and that's, that's what we're trying to do. It's just going to be really fun, fast, and, and it, sure it's, it's entertainment. And a lot of times people forget that we're in the entertainment business. And that's what we're trying to do is entertain. Yeah. Definitely. Very I think, cool. um, I know one of the, uh, when I read the scripts, the, every week I keep going to the writer who wrote the script and I'm like, you know, that's the most amazing script I've read. And then I get the next one. I'm like, okay, never mind. That was the most amazing script I've read. He didn't come to me and say that. He uses the first, so now I'm four ahead of you. So, um, Suck up. <laughs> but it's, you know, every week I get, you know, what Yancey was saying, we get a script, we see what the car can do, and um, the nice thing about it being a computer, uh, you know, we have the ability to upgrade it, like you can a normal computer. So each week, when we go on a mission, we bring the tools that we need to accomplish that mission the most effectively. And what's great, though, too, is, is there are things like, you know, sometimes his character doesn't quite listen to her character, and he does something he's not supposed to do, and there's a repercussion to the car because of it. But the great thing is, is then we reprogram, or we, we do something to alleviate that, or as, as um, we'll find out other things are going on, because it is, it is, it's more than a computer, it's artificial intelligence, there's nanotechnology, there's all kinds of things that go into this. And, and, and as I said, it's, you know, we're thinking 5, 10, 15 years down the line. A lot of the stuff we're doing is actually they're working on right now, and it's not that far away. So we have to take that and then go, what's the next step, what's the next step, what's the next step? Gary, speaking of artificial intelligence, will we see at some point a dark night writer? <laughs> <laughs> Either Ooh, you mean like you mean like car script type yes. <laughs> hmm. hmm. What do you think? <laughs> That'd be a yes. That'd be a yes. <laughs> All right. There will be a some version of that. Yes. That's um, that will go through in our mythology, and, and you'll find that as the season progresses. Very cool. Um, we have another question. Or yeah, I was just curious. Um, well, the, the two-hour movie. Uh, Oh, quick. The two-hour movie, uh, Bruce Davidson's character seemed to be kind of like the, the Devin Miles, like Hayako uh, kind of character. It seems like that's kind of changed. I'm just curious what, like, what happened to the foundation. Are you, are you guys going to go into like what happened? As where's the, the new pilot, the new series going to take off? Um, yeah, yeah. Right after, I mean, he's gonna... Yeah. When, uh, look, I sat down and I watched. It, you know, I was a fan of the original, but I also, before I wrote Word One, sat and watched the entire first season. The pilot was the first season of the original Knight Rider. Um, to, to rediscover the mythology and to remember, because I think, you know, when you're a kid watching, you don't, you know, you know, you're watching with your mom and dad and it's all happy and smiley and everything's really fun and then you watch it 25 years later and you go, well, this isn't what I remember at all. Um, so you have a different, a different perspective when you look at it. So I just wanted to make sure I remembered correctly the mythology, like I remembered that, that Michael Knight's name was Michael Long and that he was shot in the face and it was in Las Vegas and all these things that happened in the pilot, it was Wilton Knight and then Wilton Knight died and it was actually Michael Knight's car or Michael Long's car that they turned into Kit, yada, yada, yada. So that's what I did as I sat down and looked at that so that in going forward, we could retain a lot of that mythology or our version of that or at least take a twist on it and come up with it. Um, and as you saw in there, you saw Justin say, I'm Michael Knight. Right. Well, in the two hour, the guy's name was Michael Tracer. So obviously we're doing something to take us back to where the, the roots and the, or, the origins of this, this show 
started, and, and that's one of the things that we really wanted to do. So we are well aware of that. Again, it's 25 years later. The Knight Foundation is, you know, Knight, now not just that, it's Knight Industries. Now we're in the Knight Industries Research and Development Department, which deals with this. But there's a whole mythology surrounding that, yes. That takes into consideration where it's come from in the past. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, by the way, Gary, how closely do you study the blogosphere? Are you going on a Knight Rider online and reading the, uh, the comments? I, um, I do. I did. I did before I, I started the the series because I wanted to see what everyone else thought. I have my own opinions about the, the two hour and my own opinion about what the, the original Night, Night, Night Rider was. I also looked at all the uh, the press from all the critics to see what you know what they liked, what they didn't like, and, and and what the fans liked, and what they didn't like, and what they wanted next, or what they missed. And Turbo Boost was the big one. Everyone should know. I think you probably do. Um, but so the fans yeah, already I, I did, and I've spoken to the guys on you know, Night Rider Online and a few others um, a couple times. So yeah, I'm aware of what's out there. Unfortunately, we cannot be all things to everybody. Um, everyone has their version of what it should be. And if, even in, in this room, people are going to you know, argue about what the, the original was, or what their favorite part of it was, or who their favorite character was, or what the card did that was their favorite. So it's, it's hard to take that into consideration, take the two hour people into consideration, and then we're trying to get a new audience as well. You know, we want all our nephews and nieces and cousins and kids, and you know, we want everyone else to start watching this and appreciate it the way we did. So, you know, we're trying to encompass what everyone wants. It's difficult though, and it's, you know, look, I've read some of the stuff online, some people aren't happy and some people are. So it's, you know, please bear with us while we try to get this right.